All right, guys, you've seen it with Tekken Revolution. Now it's time for Soul Calibur to do the same thing. Free to play. Is this going to work? Well, let's look. Soul Calibur Lost Swords is basically the free to play version of Soul Calibur. After a very dismal showing of Soul Calibur 5, Namco had to do something to keep people playing. And this was their answer. Now, the limitations are each mission you take costs so many points. And you only have so many points every day. And your points will, over time, recover. So, if you keep this free-to-play model, you play for about a half an hour or so, have to wait three or four hours to play again, it really is annoying. However, if you want to buy tokens to play more, you can do that, and you can actually pay to play. I'm not a pay-to-play guy. I'm not the one that would actually spend money to keep playing something like this. So, don't ask me if it's worth it. I never think it's worth it. But what does this do? This basically takes your Soul Calibur 4 engine, or Soul Calibur 4 moveset is what I should say, uses the Soul Calibur 5 engine, and kicks out what is a competent fighter. The limitation is though, once you select a character, you're stuck with him or her, until you can find, purchase, and unlock other characters. And if you really want to do it quickly, there's always that money, you can spend some hard earned cash on this. So I am not liking this game. This is not Shovel of Shame worthy, but it's it's like Tekken Revolution. It's basically, hey, if you want to keep playing this, you're going to have to keep paying us, or you're just going to have to wait. It's great if they want to keep their server load down, but as a gamer, I would rather go out, buy a disc, and be able to play the game anytime I want. I want to play my Soul Calibur now, I pop it in my system, and there we go, I'm playing Soul Calibur. Look at that, I'm playing right now. I don't have to wait. So, big disappointment. I, I'm i torn. I should almost give this a shovel of shame, mostly for how they executed it. But nevertheless, the game itself does not deserve a shovel of shame. Does marketing count? I, answer in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. You know what, let's do it this way. Thumbs up if you think it's a good idea to do this pay-to-play. Thumbs down if you think this pay-to-play sucks, okay? Whatever you guys think, I want to hear from you on that. Let's get into the morals. Weapon combat, martial arts combat, lizard men, some demonology, special like Cervantes and stuff like that, a possessed sword and blade. You have issues with this stuff, you may not want your kids playing it. Uh, characters are naked, by the way, underneath all their armor. Well, they're in pajamas and their pajamas don't leave much to the imagination so hey might as well be at times so you have issues with any of that you may not want your kids playing it mole gamer molegamer.com like subscribe comment share but like i said thumbs up if you're okay with namco continuing to pump stuff like this where you can only play for a half an hour until you either have to pay or wait eight hours to play thumbs down if you think this is a crap scheme and they shouldn't do this want to hear from you guys